So for you to do comments before I start, with, what's important for you to know is that these are not case sensitive. You can use all lowercase, all uppercase, or a mixture of both. So your notes are called comments, right? And you could do these in the syntax. So let's say, let's click enter. Let's do this. When you write these notes, they're not going to be read by the by the computer. And they're not going to be like you're not giving SPSS a command because those are notes. So either what you want to do is select these and click run or you could just click uh, run and it's just not going to like if you have notes, you could select the notes as well, but it won't run the note because they're notes. Um, but in order for you to be able to tell SPSS, hey, don't run this these aren't notes there's a specific way for you to start your notes so for you to verify that your comment will not have an effect on the analysis uh, syntax make sure that your notes are gray or your comments should be gray so there are three ways to do this so what you start off is that you start with an asterisk these are my comments and you could see that it changes my notes to gray. You need to end, at, when you start with an asterisk, you need to end with a period, okay? So the next one, you see, it's already black. It didn't change to gray. So then that means this is where my comments ended. Uh, the next way that you could do this is start with the word comment. These are my comments. And then you end it with a period. Again, you could see these are black. Compared to these, these are gray. Again, hit end it right here with, with the period. Or what you could do is forward slash, and then you're going to follow it with an asterisk. See, it already started with gray. These are my comments. You end it with an asterisk and a forward slash again. Okay, so anything you write past that is going to be telling SPSS this is a command or read this.